John McCag here with Jesus Christ Trust on that. Now, I am the prophet, the true one prophet awake, decided upon by God, given the information directly from Gabriel the angel, just like Muhammad. From Allah, from God, to the messenger of God, straight to the prophet, and I am that prophet in this age. Okay? I've said this to many. Every time I see Christians or other anyone from any other religious organization out in public, I say I'm a prophet, and then I say, you know, I say some truth to them, a 64-year time loop and so on, and they look at me, and I've said, well, what does your book say about what you're supposed to do when a prophet comes in front of you? What do you have to do? It says you have to see if their past prophecies come to pass. Right? Do not believe, what does this say? This is, this is Deuteronomy. This is a simple test. If a man claims to be a prophet speaking in God's name, God's people should prove the veracity of the man's predictions. If his prophecies do not come true, it's obvious God is not speaking to him or through him. Such a man is a false prophet. We should neither fear his words nor feel compelled to obey them. Even if the man's prophecies do come to pass, we must beware. God warns us, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. We need to be watching for the fruits of God's spirit in those who would claim to be his representatives. That's what the Bible tool says right here. You're supposed to test a prophet. Who's tested me out there? Everybody talking about God on the street. No one, no one tested, no one. I tell them over and over and over again the truth, what they're supposed to do with the prophet, how they're, you know, the, what they're doing wrong out there, that they're baptizing people wrong. I tell them all the truth. And they just don't change and don't do anything, even though I tell them they have to check a prophet or else what? I'm there to send them to hell. I look them in the face, I say, you're going to hell because you didn't listen to a prophet, period. And so is everyone. Everyone that doesn't listen and do according to the truth as God has designed this place. If you don't follow God's, you know, the truth of this predicament we find ourselves in. If you don't, well, you got to do it again. Infinite amount of times. Only the truth can save you. And guess what? God only mentioned the truth to me so far. Except for all the fallen angels and stuff in here and they're not allowed to say I mean, no one tests me as a prophet? Like, no one. Can you even imagine? No one follows the Bible. No one I've interacted with out there in public. Not a single individual. Oh, no. They don't, oh, let me see if your prophecies are real. Or anything. No, no one. So what? I send everyone to hell. I mean, basically every single individual I meet, I send to hell. Not right at that moment, right? Because they didn't listen to the truth while they're in a body, so they have to lose their body, and they can go learn in hell when they don't have a body. That's God's setup here. I don't do that. <laughs> this isn't my plan. This isn't any of that. I'm simply telling you the truth so you can have, you know, the best judgment day you can possibly have. I'm like a travel coordinator for you. I'm like, you don't want to be in that line. You want to be over here. Is anyone listening? No. Us, very, very few. Very few. What are you doing? Come on.